Up, Busy day, fully packed day. The worst was that I actually went down. They are not even serious to build in the first place. Uh, actually, they pointed out eh, how they actually chose me as their, their agent. Uh. Then she found a bit shady. Lah. Her own words got me fired up to stand up. Those of you guys who are supporting me in this journey, and I'm not afraid to experiment. If I cannot truly be myself, I will not continue to do it. Hala! If you hear me, what's up guys? Travis here. All right, it's a brand new day. Um, so today I'm going to, actually right now, I'm going to meet a new friend. He basically he saw my TikTok videos. I, I mean, I have a few inquiries from people who've like seen my social media content. Uh, a few are new agents. A few are like um, potential clients. A few are like, I don't know, like 50-50. I don't know what's really their agenda. <laughs> so. Um, this guy is a new agent. I'm going down to meet him. Kind of like a few of you guys also la, starting into this industry. You know, want to find out more about how this business works, how Travis go and door knock, and things like this. La. Now, certainly no expert level yet, but I'm always happy to share, always willing to share. And uh, like I mentioned many times, it's always about the connections and uh, you know, combining our strength, working with like minded people, building our building our connection your network is your net worth so going over have a nice um, coffee break then after that the rest of my day I have another appointment at night yeah it's gonna be another pretty pretty uh, busy day fully packed day I think it's it what's up man hey thanks for coming down you wanna say hi to camera hi all right guys change of attire and now we are at the Pentamon area okay, near the Spottiswood Park actually I'm headed towards that area now okay so um, this is a viewing appointment now this relates to what I want to actually uh, say uh. so I have a question right you know how is there actually a foolproof 100% way to know whether you your your these are tenants are uh, will be attending the viewing because right I'm sure like many agents uh, have encountered this before where you gonna you gonna flick you gonna smoke by the tenant okay so basically what I want to say right is that because this has happened to me before the worst was that I actually went down for the appointment and then the freaking tenant told me that hey uh, long story short like, the tenant never show up like, and I'm sure I'm not the first one Many agents have experienced this before. So I was thinking about this so much, right? To the point where I, you know, wanted to think of all the ways that I can actually prevent this from happening. Like I went to do a PowerPoint slide even, not PowerPoint slide, like literally to gather my thoughts and like come up with a step-by-step -step process whether it's possible to, to have a way to deflect away all potential, uh, all these flaky, you know, tenants that are wasting time. So basically, right, I thought of it, I was like, okay, um, step one, uh, you got to verify, make sure their profile is legitimate, make sure that they are genuine, they fill up all the information, they provide you, they are transparent in providing all the information to you, and then they actually show interest. You know, like tenants, it's a partnership, right? So when I'm giving you the viewing, then on the tenant side, they'll be like, okay, uh, what time, uh, when is... When it's, a, when it's a good day, you can actually sense it versus standards who are like, they are sensing they are just fishing, they just want to waste your time, test the market, or they are just even trolling. They are not even serious to view in the first place. Okay, let me make sure I'm walking the right direction. Right, then after that, you will set up the viewing time, viewing day. Then usually, usually right, most tenants will, on the actual day itself, send them a reminder. Like, hey, uh, see you later, 7 p.m. And then the tenant side will be like, okay got it see you later okay but there are times where the tenant right they don't reply on the actual day itself ah then you start to get suspicious really okay then the next step what's the next step okay so my next step is if the tenant doesn't reply right message then i will actually give a call just directly just call already okay and call usually sometimes if they pick up they oh sorry, sorry i missed your message i was busy working okay uh yeah 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 of course i got an appointment i'll see you there Okay, some they don't pick up at all and if they don't pick up 
and you are already on your way out okay because you need that to be there by certain timing and it's also eating not eating but we are taking the landlord's time for this viewing as well then what do you do do i actually just go down with that knowing that chance that a hey, this fella might flake or do i not go down and say that hey you know this fella never reply by certain timing i think he's uh, not not interested to come or whatever ultimately i think that might not be a uh, you know 100 foolproof way uh, like for this one uh, just now i actually made the call then uh, the tenant actually replied so yeah i guess we can only minimize this uh, and not actually 100 percent prevent uh, but anyway back to the main thing most of the time right uh we we encounter responsible you know norm normal profiles okay people who want to rent but i'm just saying that one percent that outlier just wasting time like in general okay i'm here let's go okay you guys can see opposite is just sky everton looks to be an upcoming uh going to top project so we are in the uh, eight cantonment close cantonment area very central location um anyway i just wanna maybe while i'm waiting for the tenant right talk about some realities all right as it pertains to this channel realities of real estate so um yeah the first thing i want to actually kind of like um share right is recently i've been talking to my clients right and uh, actually they pointed out uh, how they actually chose me as their their agent uh. and i think some of you guys may be interested to know this right especially like new agents uh, why would they choose you out of so many other agents so one of the things um that i've chatted to a few of them not just one okay so this okay so i give you two examples the first one uh landlord told me that um number one i was the fastest or second fastest usually i'm the fastest or second fastest to contact them lah. then second right because she was actually comparing me to uh to another agent and then when she asked the other agent how much was the commission and the agent just said like the response was literally one month i think so and that's it just she just like one month and that's it never provide any other details then uh, so so this landlord was like huh like one one month for what one month for six six months uh lease sign or one year or whatever then then she found a bit shady la her own words then she talked to me oh she saw my profile then she was actually like hey you uh when you send me your this uh, proposition right it's actually you you seem more genuine you provided you were very transparent you provided the details you know how i work things like that so that's why she chose me over the other agents um yeah so the second second landlord who shared with me was actually uh once again uh, she 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 sorted through many many agents right then she saw mine why she decided to like give me a chance was because um i actually was able to identify the pain points that she was facing in my proposition so like many uh other agents right they just like can can i market this for you i've seen this like sometimes i list out uh on carousel right i'll see like agents asking just one sentence or can i market this for you <laughs> like is this a uh, seriously you, you 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 think this will work man so so mine was different uh, in my proposition i'll actually list out like the pain points then my this landlord she was like hey she, she actually understand what he's talking about he actually knows what are the pain points that i'm currently facing so because of that she decided to engage me so just from these two examples you can see that actually what you say and what you propose is actually quite important a very important it's a determining factor whether you get to agent a certain a certain listing or not um being genuine being actual communicator you, you know being real and not just trying to shoot your shot and, and expecting like you see got me fired up to stand up and, and just trying to hope that it happens you know you gotta show that you're actual human being you understand that situation um so that's that's just one thing i want to share I gotta say uh, we just ended our viewing and the bright light super bright light is blinding my eyes again okay 
So now I'm making my way to the MRT station and uh, okay I'm gonna probably gonna end the, the video early lah today but um, as I close right I just want to say this uh, those of you guys who are supporting me in this journey uh, you guys know who you are and um, I really appreciate it it's, um, it's something that drives me lah and continue to you know give me motivation in this journey as I as I keep on carrying on that's the only that's what I have to do that's what I can do for now hey welcome to my friend's parents house Everton Park okay even though the light is really like literally like blinding uh, but it's much better quality lah uh, for for night scenes okay so for filming at night so basically right um, I just want to say this and if you guys know me and you know that um, how I actually operate right and my beliefs and you know I'm all about content and I'm not afraid to experiment two things lah basically what, what Ryan Salen says don't die don't get into jail the rest is all fair game so whatever advantage I can gain whatever method whatever resourcefulness whatever think out of the box method that I can do I will do I ain't gonna be just stick, you know what they call that package and pressure into oh you must do things a certain way you see I hell no I don't believe in that that's not the way I operate and that won't be the way I operate of course you know there are certain ways that um, certain tried and tested ways of marketing or long story short achieving success which I agree okay and I will do that also eventually I'll make them part of my game but for me right as a fresh new face in this game in this industry I believe that I have to offer something new you know like property Lim brothers they revolutionize things they created these home tours and everyone else is doing home tours okay and whoever like, like those um, TikTok TikTok realtors right they carve out their own niche so I believe right that Travis I will carve out my own niche also because this is what I believe in but it's not coming from a point of like being arrogant but coming from a point that I believe in my strength and I believe that I know I can cover out my own niche so I am gonna stick to it and people will try to like put you down people will try to like put you in a certain bubble let me just put it very blatant uh. if I cannot be myself and this has always been my philosophy and you know I thought I would grow up or grow out of it or whatever right if I cannot truly be myself I will not continue to do it simple as that if I cannot do my own flavor if I cannot do cherry style then there's no point to do then I'm just a cookie cutter like everybody else all right so in some ways <laughs> let's talk more action see you in the next episode